On today's episode of Insane Builds with Crazy Time Frames, we're gonna be building not one, but two submarines. All right, now at this point, this is where we would sit down and do all the CAD work and the calculations. I would have everything, probably something set like this, ready to go. Now, don't get me wrong, we are not complete professional submarine experts. We are submarine experts, sort of. So we do have some criteria that the submarines that we're building have to meet. Rule number one is it has to go five foot underwater. Rule number two is you have to be able to see out of it. Rule number three is they have to stay under for five minutes and breathe the air that's in the submarine. We have to find everything at our local hardware stores other than the scuba gear, of course, we have to get from the scuba shop. He's gotta come up with his design and I have to come up with my design. We're actually just gonna help each other build it because we only have a very yeah, small amount we, of time. We don't, we don't have much time to get it done. We don't have much time. So, so I will help you build yours. You help me build mine, but it's your design. I'm not gonna say anything about anything because it is a competition. Yeah. I came up with my ideas. Corey came up with his ideas. We're about to show those to you. Flip it, catch it, lay it. Okay. Oh my gosh, bro. Really? Okay. Oh, oh, lay it. Lay it. Lay it. Oh, Wait, lay, lay it. it? Yeah. <laughs> I get paper scissors wrong. <laughs> you got Corey. <laughs> you got Corey. Oh, man. <laughs> See, paper scissors rock over here. Dang it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, honestly. On a good note, he's already saved me in the big submarine, so I trust him. You're in good hands. Other than the paper scissors rock. That threw me for a loop. Start out with some trash cans. Okay. We'll probably need some totes. Totes, trash Tro cans. Trolling motor somewhere. Trolling motor from Home Depot. Nice. I can figure that out. Okay, good. Uh, acrylic for glass, we gotta be able to see out of it. Okay. Gotta go under what, five feet? It's gotta be five foot, I've gotta be able to see out of it, and I have to have a pocket to breathe. That's the only rule, so we can do whatever else we do want. Do you have to breathe? I could hold my breath. All right, we'll, we'll work on that part. <laughs> <laughs> I like the trash cans. Okay, let's get started. I think we definitely have something better than the other team. Honestly, we need this. I think so. If we just flip it over, I'll duct tape it. It's only six ninety nine. I could probably stick a tank in here. I'm only gonna keep you alive for five minutes and drag you back up. I can hold my breath for at least three of them, three or three of those five. Before we start spending too much of Brandon's money, what are you thinking? Already come up with a decent idea. If we can build it out of plywood okay. and then just seal all of it with uh, flexi seal. Flex seal, we're gonna need some acrylic to make the windshield. Okay. And I say we build this thing like a shark. So we're going for shark, shark submarine. There's no way these boys have any clue what's coming for him. Uh oh, uh -oh. I think I found what we need. I don't know how I don't know how many we need. The answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. No. <laughs> well it's one for each can. Here we go. We're saving Brandon's pocketbook. We're gonna go with the cheap stuff. I haven't seen the boys yet, but with what Corey's got planned up, his master plan, I think we're gonna absolutely beat the crap out of him, so. Now what's going on over here? Whenever we were shopping, I seen garbage cans and you and Brandon talking. Uh, trash cans. Trash cans, I like it. Our trash. submarine is gonna be trash. So I would love to know how in the world you were gonna build a submarine out of trash cans. I don't know, but I, I might be the first person or second person that's ever built a trash can submarine. I haven't seen another one that's built out of trash cans. My idea was pretty simple. We're gonna look out of this. This is gonna be the top. So he can see 360 degrees. Goal number one achieved. Number two. I'm gonna somehow put these together. And we did have the idea to have a third trash can, but I don't think we're gonna need it. Brandon's gonna fit in there. How we're gonna get everything else, I really don't know. Here, because it looks like you chopped down half a forest to try to make a submarine. I don't know, man. Whenever he told me I had to build a submarine from a hardware store, first thing that came to mind, I was like, maybe a tactical shark. I'll use some wood, build the frame, throw some flex seal on it, and hope I don't drown Tristan. If it turns out anything as good as that <laughs> drawing, <laughs> then I think we'll be uh, good to go. Me and T's going for the win! That's all right, you see my trash cans over there? Yeah. Yeah, they look sad. They're trash. Hey boys, howdy partners. You guys ready to build something amazing? Corey's already over here. Making oh my gosh, dude, it's been four minutes. 
to be able to rotate the propulsion. I'll do the tail back here. The propulsion will be inside of the tail. The American flag will work as our top fin. <laughs> a ballast up here in the front, but you'll also be able to see out of it and you'll have side view along the sides as well. And we'll be able to fully control it going up and down with the fin. So you'll have forward propulsion and move around. Why'd, why'd you ever even buy a submarine? We could have just built one. Yeah, I'm starting to realize that. <laughs> For like 700 bucks between both submarines, I spent like way, I mean I spent, I don't even want to talk about it. I, that's why we can only build submarines now because I can't afford another one. Corey has this whole render. 400 bucks right here. 400 bucks. Three, we got you. Three trash cans, $400. <laughs> and a whiteboard. It's all we need. I think it's a little more manly to just use your pocket knife to build a submarine. Hey, that flex sill works good. Don't anybody ever sleep on no flex tape, because uh, I just got mine done. I mean, look at that. I ain't got none up here. And when you come to here, it's all sealed up. I just went in there to beat a board into place. This, <laughs> this thing's actually going to work. It's actually going to be pretty badass. I'm uh. It looks like some sort of starfighter chicken coop. As low budget, fully operational submarine as I think it gets. I don't know. The trash can with a bunch of flex tape on it, it's coming in hot. This is gonna be Corey's trolling motor right here. I got mine over here. We have some old trolling motors. I've got this one I've got to cut down. He's got this old one, 3D printed a crazy looking uh, propeller. So just so you know, if you ever need a propeller you can just 3d print one Good to go. even if it don't work that great well what i was figuring is if he sticks his head out and the trolling motor's on and he's not paying attention this won't slice his head in half liquid nail holds everything in place hopefully hopefully we'll see maybe sort of ish all right, so it is uh, day before the big launch, and uh, the Nautical Bros have requested Tristan and I to show up to Submarine Headquarters. If you guys remember the sports sub, this is where Mini Factory Number Two is, because you're wanting to dial us in, get some personal fitment stuff for the submarine. Got to make sure. Well, you're gonna kind of fit. Oh, is it that strong? Yeah, we built it really good. <laughs> But make okay. sure that the trolling motor is not sticking up where it's not supposed to. Okay, perfect. That's yeah, I don't want to sit on a trolling motor shaft. <laughs> oh my God, son. Hey, these are original from Texas Roadhouse too. They came out of a Texas Roadhouse. Oh my God. This one here also has another feature that y'all don't have. Oh. Wheels. We can just go. Okay, that's oh. nice. <laughs> that is nice. All the other submarines. Hey, 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 we're adding wheels to ours tonight. So this is how you're gonna get in. This okay. is what I wanted to make sure you would be able to I'm tracking. get in there. You'll be sitting here. So I'll be right sitting there. like this. Yeah. Be so like this. right here is basically where the trolling motor needs to go. Okay. So that you can steer it. There's your trolling motor involved. Yeah. Got and it. that's that's what I need to know because okay. I didn't want you sitting on the right. trolling okay. motor. Right, okay. How do I get into this? <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Very much. It's supposed to be the other way. Gotcha. I'm getting, I'm getting a little comfortable. Uh, well, it's small. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly, honestly, God, I'm gonna need an, I'm gonna need an escape hatch. Oh. Dude. Oh, is it that strong? <laughs> yeah, we built it really good. <laughs> Oh, the strap came off. The strap came off. <laughs> oh, y'all are really taking it in here. I thought he was just joking around and just pulling him in that way, and no, but he really wanted to take him that way, so we're going in there. 
<laughs> We're open, sir. All right. Now okay. we get to get him out of it. All right. Oh so my God. Roll him on his side. Dude. So get ready to roll over, just like you did in the F1 boat. Yep. F1 oh, training. What <laughs> the hell? <laughs> I am 100% dying in that. Dude, oh, I, it hurts. BJ, what? what do you mean what? We're not done with it. Is this really how I exit, turn it sideways? No, no. it is on land. When it's in the water, you can just slide out. Okay, we'll be able to slide okay. I was gonna say, cause dude, if we turn it sideways, I can literally see the water going. Blah, 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 blah. This, you're like, oh, you could probably just pop this off. Absolutely not. I, there's 380 bolts holding that together. But you gotta blow them. <laughs> I gotta blow them. <laughs> Thank God, I'm like Shamu. We're just gonna call this Shamu now. We're gonna paint it black and white. So with this here, there's actually a ball valve under there. Like right now it's open. Yep. So it's if we were to fill it with air, yeah. the air would just keep going out. Yep. Other than you'll have air in here to breathe. Yep. I'm, I'm and then whenever, whenever you close it Dude. and fill it with air, you rise. When you wanna go down, yeah, water's gonna have to go Remember in. Remember when I bought the Coast Guard boat and I felt the anxiety inducing situation? Yep. That's what I'm having right now. I mean, we're thinking about tomorrow's launch day. Well, I could cut you a safety hatch up here, but <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I think the more holes we cut, the, the worse safety it is. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it looks epic though. Yeah. I love it though, BJ. Hey, it did hold. It hold like before we cut the escape or the entry. Yeah. Filled it with air. Yeah. Hold okay. there. Beautiful. First thought with the big pipes, the big four inch pipe was like, oh, we can fill that up. And then I was like, wait, no, if Brandon doesn't control that, yeah, he could have a bomb. I could have a bomb. Because if it goes over, the are you insinuating PSI, nautical bros know how to make explosive devices? No, just just potato cannon. <laughs> potato cannon. You really thought this out. I like it. Yeah, I think you'll be able to like, I think it'll work. I think you're gonna be able to adjust your air to come up. Yep. And you turn a valve and you should sink down and it'll just take you a few minutes. Yeah. So like get that balance once you're neutrally buoyant. Good. Hit troll the motor. Good and go to forward. go, dude. The other nice thing is like how they have these fins and all that stuff. All you gotta do is lean back, brother. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah, so uh that's a tiger shark. That's a tiger That's shark freaking I've ever seen one. badass. So Corey somehow got the idea to take this old blowtorch and burn tiger shark marks into it. And that's freaking sick. So we have all the custom fittings that I needed to know to be able to drive this bad boy tomorrow, but T minus 12 hours till this thing gets launched in its full form. I can't wait, but it's time for me and B to bounce and let the boys keep working. It's been another long day. We haven't been here. We've only actually only been here a couple hours. But dude, the Freedom Shark is looking great. Freedom Shark came out good. Brandon hit me with, well, I don't think we got time to paint it. So we'll just go with the raw wood. I couldn't do it. So we grabbed the torch and I turned it into the Freedom Tiger Shark. <laughs> dude, that's so cool looking. They came up here, helped us out. We had, we actually had to have them just get some fitment and some suggestions. Had a great time. We were at the ranch all day. We've been going since like 7.30 this morning. It is now 12, 15 at night. We work till like three o'clock the night before. Yeah. It's uh, I'm tired. I think we're both tired. But tomorrow we do get to find out what happens when these things hit the water. All right, time to call it a night and uh, back at it again tomorrow. Back at it again tomorrow. Let's go home for tonight. I gotta try the Freedom Shark out. I built it. I gotta see if I could drown in it real quick. Here goes nothing. 
Corey's out there with his first ride in the Freedom Shark, being the first submarine he's ever built. But I doubt it's gonna be the last. <laughs> You're next, brother. <laughs> You're getting in the water buffalo. Honey. I would be the water buffalo if I was in that thing. Okay. Look at him. What you got? It's sinking. Look, go get your. <laughs> go get it. He's got the submarine, bro. <laughs> My God. Look at look at the the fin. That's the best part. It's just that floating around on the lake. It's so funny. Like, look at it actually going. I love the fact that you said the wood color. Corey wanted to flex seal it and paint it so bad, but since it was a homemade video, I was like, Corey, it looks so homemade with all wood. So I do like the little wood fin, but yeah. I know he was going to try to make it gray. But <laughs> look at that, dude. <laughs> Freaking Megadon over here. That is insane. That was sick. <laughs> I took you I took you pretty far out there too. Yeah, you took a little rip. I uh I think the greatest thing you could have ever done was put a dorsal fin on this. It is hilarious <laughs> walking the fourth of the when you yeah. like that around. It's so cool. Bro. Did it so That cool. is awesome. Yeah. Corey, thank you for the engineering geniusness of the Freedom Shark. Beautiful job. BJ, thank you for keeping me alive. Hey, the water buffalo is just supposed to look cool. We had we had such a small amount of time to get it done. We only had that one little bit of time at Home Depot to make it happen. And uh, I think I'd it worked it was out. I mission success, man. I, I think all around, I think it was success, successful on uh, both, both builds. And I appreciate you guys letting us be a part of something so crazy, man. That was fun. Those were fun builds. You know, uh, you know. Normally, we're working hard all, all the time. Everything's so serious. We have to make sure it's right. We didn't even have to make sure these were right. Hey, we just freedom shark for president. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him do it to you. Now that we got these things loaded up, it's time to call it a day. Thank you guys for spending the time to watch and see the build and all the craziness that happened. Stop by Brandon and Yappy's channel and see the video of us almost killing them. And we'll see you on the next Adventurer Build. Have a good one. Freedom Shark!